Fifty Penny thinks of new proof about Jay-Z being gay. Fifty Penny was as of late come by Large Kids Local, where he uncovered a great deal of industry mysteries. He discussed all that from dealing with an eight-mile television series to turning down the World Cup, the Super Bowl halftime show. While discussing how Jay-Z didn't allow him to go to the occasion, Fifty Penny's most recent remarks said Jay-Z proceed with their now and again contention, which started with the arrival of Fifty Penny's 1999 disputable track How to Burglarize. He likewise discusses Jay-Z being a gay, and this time with some proof. The two of them could have fabricated hip bounce rounds, yet the two head honchos have never been old buddies. Indeed, lock in and get your bowl of popcorn as we will examine the matter profoundly and decide why Fifty Penny thinks Jay-Z behaves like a gay individual. Since this isn't whenever Fifty Penny first guaranteed that Jay-Z seems to be a gay painter, he presented something related on it on. His Instagram. Does Beyonce uphold him with his sexual character? Are Jay-Z and D.I.D.D.I. the well-known gay admirers of the business? Remain with us and prior to making any ends, make a point to watch the video till the end. While talking on the Emmy-winning Super Bowl halftime show, Dr. Dre, Sneak Homeboy, Eminem, Kendrick Lamar, and Mary J. Blige, 50 Penny uncovered he was let by the administration know that he would have been a piece of the celebrations sometime before it became public, and suggested that the main explanation he was excluded from the special promotion for the exhibition was a direct result of his foe in industry. Jay-Z, indeed, Jay-Z was essential for the executives as he coordinated the halftime show in his job as the NFL's unrecorded music diversion tactician. He said, I got the call before the promotion went out. I wasn't in the promotion since Jay-Z and them were assembling it. I think they actually harbor some energy towards me, the host then, at that point, inquired as to whether he felt his avoidance from the promotion was purposeful. He answered, no, no. They were saying the NFL disapproved of me. I don't have the foggiest idea what those issues are. What's the issue? He proceeded to reference a Beverage Winners episode from back in April where the show's co-have, N-O-R-E, uncovered Eminem told Jay Lee he won't perform at the Super Bowl except if 50 Penny was involved. 50 Penny said, he was letting me know the white kid would do the shoot without 50. That is the point at which I begin saying insane stuff since I look and I go gracious. That is your large home slice oak. He then discusses Jay-Z saying, so you picture yourself after the gay painter. Large homeboy need to seem to be the gay painter. Indeed, that statement stunned everybody as it isn't the initial time. 50 Penny discussed Jay-Z behaving like a gay craftsman. He had similar opinions keep going year when N-O-R-E originally uncovered his. Confidential discussion with Hova. On Instagram, he posted, Nor, your large homeboy is going around attempting to seem to be a gay painter. Lowell, he then posted a one next to the other photograph of the late craftsman, Jim Michael Basquiat, and Jay-Z shaking their comparable marcardas. In a meeting with the Morning Meal Club, 50 Penny reviewed when Beyonce was prepared to battle him after he had a fight with her significant other in Las Vegas a long time back. As indicated by 50 Penny, she was on a window ledge. We were in Vegas, she leaped out and had her monster mode face on. Furthermore, I'm like, stand by, what's happening with you? That is me and Jay-Z's stuff. This ain't got nothing to do with you, young lady. 50 Penny probably been stunned by Sovereign B's response. He said, I was like, gracious stid. I didn't actually have the foggiest idea what to do. It was one of those circumstances where you were like, whoa, assuming you express this to Jay, he'll take a gander at you and go, nah, that occurred. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
She losing me currently because I don't know precisely how to answer this. You are still Beyonce. She carried all of the attractive over with that energy leaping off. Fortunately, the quarrel didn't raise. The show's co-half, Charlemagne the God then, at that point, kidded that 50 Penny was fortunate. Bay's sister Solange wasn't there. She was broadly shot going after Jay-Z in a lift after the 2014 medication. 50 Penny answered by saying, on the off chance that Solange was there, I would have needed to reboot. Solange was popping in that lift like it was nothing. With some criminals going on, Jay couldn't sit idle, huh? In the event that you don't have the foggiest idea, Jin Michael Basquiat was a pop symbol, social figure, spray painting craftsman, performer, and neo-expressionist painter. He was a bright youngster, and by the age of four, he could both read and compose. He was well known for his spray. Painting motivated artworks that were undeniably something other than works of art. They handled the issue of race, class, and character. Despite the fact that he never emerged, individuals near him uncovered that he was sexually open. His sweetheart, Suzanne Mullock, who monetarily upheld him as a server during this period, later portrayed his sexuality as, he didn't depend on visual excitement, like a lovely young lady. It was an extremely rich, multichromatic sexuality. He was drawn to individuals for various reasons. They could be young men, young ladies, dainty, fat, pretty, terrible. It was, I think, driven by knowledge. He was drawn to insight more than anything, and to torment. Indeed, it seems like 50 Penny is really coming clean about Jay-Z being enlivened by the craftsman as he duplicates numerous things connected with Gene. In 2013, Jay's delivered a tune named Picasso. Child in his collection, Magna Carta Sacred Goal, where he made a few super bizarre and fascinating. Associations with the late craftsman. Jay-Z in that sang, it ain't difficult to tell I'm the new Jen Michael encompassed by Warhols, my entire group, fall twin bogatus, outside the craftsmanship basil, I just want to carry on with life titanic. Even Jay-Z's colleagues give a whoop to the craftsman somewhere else on the collection. For instance, Blunt C sings in C's that I trust my dark skin don't soil this white tuxedo. Before the Basquiat show, indeed, certain individuals likewise imagine that Magna Carta's sacred goal was made to show that Jay-Z is Jen Michael's adult rendition. Is Beyonce additionally mindful of Jay-Z's cravings? Indeed, she isn't just mindful, yet upholds his adoration for the craftsman. At the point when Jay-Z turned 53 on 4th December last year, it is accounted for that his mogul spouse Beyonce bought a $35 million craftsmanship piece from Jay-Z's number one craftsman, Jane Michael Basquiat. At Basquiat's Christie's closeout last month, a mysterious contributor bought the $35 million craftsmanship piece and reports say, the unknown purchaser is Jay-Z's mogul spouse, Sovereign B. The craftsmanship piece named Sugar Bean Robinson was the most costly piece at the bartering, and it isn't his business as usual that Beyonce was the announced purchaser. It appears as though Jin Michael's effect on the business stays undeniable as various craftsmen have recognized him as a critical wellspring of motivation and consolation. In 2021, Tiffany & Co. revealed a sensational new mission with all the capability managed the cost of by its new corporate parent, LVMH. Named about adoration, the promotions highlighted Jay-Z and Beyonce unwinding at a pioneer home in Bel Air wearing chalice-level pieces saturated with Tiffany legend. Every one of the 128. 54 carats of the popular Tiffany precious stone for Beyonce and a Jean Sklumberger's bird on a stone pin for Jay. In any case, the power two or three the business wasn't the promotion's just draw.